Good morning and welcome to another episode of Stan's Adventures. Today we're going to do another unboxing video. Got a nice package from Amazon today. Got the Amazon smiley on it. Always smile when I get an Amazon box. So let's see what's inside as if I didn't know. And what we received today is an ambient weather Wi-Fi Osprey WS2902A solar powered wireless weather station. My old weather station is crapped out. Uh, the rain gauge didn't work, the wind gauge didn't work, the wind speed didn't work, all that. So this was a really good buy uh, on Amazon, less than 200 bucks, and kind of does everything I want all in one little nice unit. So. We're going to open it up and we'll do an installation video kind of in line with this so kind of get to see the whole thing i will not bore you through the whole thing i promise so let's see what we got So, we get the instruction manual, 46 pages, so that should cover most of what we need to do, and I've seen a couple of videos, and it does seem to. You have your console, your inside unit. which is well wrapped. Very well wrapped. Get your little paper on the front, which we're gonna take off. And it has controls for set, temperature, rain, wind, pressure, alarm, maximum light source, uh, battery compartment, 5 volt DC, which I understand it has the uh, power supply for that, so that should be very helpful. I believe it's a nice color display. In fact, I'm sure this is the power supply. I know y'all want to see that with bated breath. And that's what that is. This is the main part of the unit. It's an all in one piece thing. That's not ideal because you can't get the right height. However, it makes it much easier to mount. Uh, so you have your, your wind speed, your wind direction, your rain gauge is just a typical tipping rain gauge. It has a bubble level. It has a uh, one of the things I'm excited about. Oh, don't remove the sticker to insert the batteries. Okay, we'll wait. Uh, solar panel under here it says north, so we'll have to orient it with north. Uh, so that should work. A little cup for the rain gauge. little tabs so it fits in the deal correctly and of course your wind speed cups this is the base for the console I think the mounting hardware for a pole I've got the pole out front These are pretty lightweight. 
one direction. Service card. And that's all there is to it. It's a pretty, like I said, self-contained unit. So that's it except for the console. So we will uh, get back with you in a few minutes once we get a little further into the process. Stick with me. Okay, well, okay we're making great progress on this. We've got the console set up. Put the time and the date in it, everything else is set up. Got the batteries in the unit and the uh, uh, solar cover off of it. We are now downloading the AWNet app onto my iPhone, which is interesting. I can use my iPhone with no service. I've canceled my AT&T service, but it still works. Matter of fact, I can still send text messages on iMessage, which really kind of is weird. But anyway, we're downloading the AWNet app so we can program Wi-Fi on this. This will shoot Wi-Fi directly to my router and then through to the internet so I don't have to go through my computer to do it like I did on the old one, which was kind of a pain. So let's get back to you and see where we're going from there. Well, that was amazingly easy. Uh, you hold the wind and pressure button down for four seconds. The Wi-Fi signal starts blinking. You connect it to uh, your router, then you connect your phone to the console. Uh, I just updated the software. It is done. Kind of amazing. So I'm now connected to the Wi-Fi. This was much easier than the uh, lacrosse technology one I had. So let's just keep moving here. Well, guys, it's not ideal, but it's 10 foot high. That's where they suggested kind of mounting it for an in-between. I think you want the rain gauge about and the, and the temperature like six to eight feet but you want the wind thing about 30 feet so they said 10 feet for a single unit. It went in real easy. Leveled the pole, tied it to the fence, sunk it in the ground. Uh, so I'm right about 10 foot high level. I'm really impressed. This went together real easy. It's already connected to the Underground, my KTX HALT05 weather station. So, piece of cake. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you want one of these, like I said, I said at the first what it was, and it's a piece of cake to set up. Much easier than the uh, lacrosse technology one was. Not as good as some of the other ones, but I mean, for the money, it's hard to beat. So, have a good day. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye.